वेलकम टू आतिज एजुकेशन दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सेट सेवेंटीन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द फ्रैक्शंस गिवन बिलो पेयर ऑफ द इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस here when we observe the given fractions we notice that first four fractions have denominator smaller than the next four fractions denominator so for answering we just have to write first four fractions as questions and we have to find out their equivalent fractions from these four fractions so let's find it question 4 answer is just write the given fractions one by one 2 upon 3 or write here a b c d second is 5 upon 7 third one is 5 upon 11 and fourth one is 7 upon 9 now find out all these fractions equivalent fraction from remaining fractions so remaining fractions are 14 upon 18 15 upon 33 18 upon 27 and 10 upon 14 we just have to find out the correct equivalent fraction for these fractions now look at the first pair it is first fraction it is a 2 upon 3 let's find out the 2 upon 3 is equivalent fraction here we notice that by how we get the equivalent fraction multiplying the same number to the denominator and numerator and dividing by same number to the numerator and denominator we can get the equivalent fraction but when there is less numbers or smaller numbers on the denominator side and we have to find out there's equivalent fractions then we are going to multiply that fractions denominator by the number so here we consider a multiplication order now look here 36 18 but 26 12 here they gives us 14 so this fraction is not equivalent to 2 upon 3 let's look at the next fraction here when we multiply 3 by 11 we get the number 33 so this is also not a equivalent fraction of 2 upon 3 because here when we multiply 2 by 11 we get the number 22 but here they gives us 15 only so next turn towards to next fraction it is 18 upon 27 when we multiply 3 by 9 we get 27 and let's look when we multiply our numerator that is 2 by 9 we get 18 so here we find out the equivalent fraction for 2 upon 3 so the equivalent fraction for 2 upon 3 is 18 upon 27 just right here 18 upon 27 you must have to give here equal sign because equivalent fractions are written like this so the next is 5 upon 7 let's find out 5 upon 7's equivalent fraction before we find let's cancel our first questions first fractions equivalent fraction that is 18 upon 27 so it's easy to us now compare 
Now look at the 5 upon 7. And how many fractions here remain? Now 3 fractions. Uh, when we multiply 7 by any number, we doesn't get 18. So this is cancelled. Then by multiplying 7 with any number, we does not get 33. So this is also cancelled. Now 7 to the 14 and 5 to the 10. So the equivalent fraction for 5 upon 7 is 10 upon 14. Just write it in your notebook. 5 upon 7 is equal to 10 upon 14. The next fraction is 5 upon 11. Now we have here only 2 fractions remain. Let's cancel it first. Now here we have only 2 fractions. 14 upon 18 and 15 upon 33. Now look at the third fraction 5 upon 11. And its equivalent fraction is 15 upon 33. Because when we multiply 11 into 3 or 11 by 3, we get the product 33. And 5 multiply by 3, the product is 15. So 5 upon 11's equivalent fraction is 15 upon 33. Let's cancel it. 15 upon 33. Write in your notebook. Now next question. The fraction is 7 upon 9. And the remaining fraction for it is 14 upon 18. So it is an equivalent fraction of 7 upon 9. Because here when we multiply 9 by 2. The number we get is 18. And 7 by 2 is also 14. So, our fourth fraction's equivalent fraction is 14 upon 18. Right here, 14 upon 18. Look, it's easy. The fifth question, find two equivalent fractions for each of the following fractions. We just have to find out the equivalent fractions for 7 upon 9, 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 11. How can we find out the equivalent fraction of any fraction? When we multiply the given fraction by any number, then we get the equivalent fraction of that number. Or when we divide the given fraction by a particular number or any number, then we can also get the equivalent fraction for given fraction. So, Look here, there are five, 7 upon 9, 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 11. These three fractions are given here. How to solve it? Question 5's answer is The fractions given here are First fraction is 7 upon 9 Second fraction is 4 upon 5 And third one is 3 upon 11 so, for obtaining an equivalent fraction, we have to multiply the given fractions. It's easy to us. Now, just write here 7 upon 9 and multiplication sign. Then, multiply the given fraction by any number you want. 2, 3, 4, 10, any number you can divide, you can multiply that fraction but remember by which number we are going to multiply denominator we have to multiply that same number to our numerator so here I multiply it by 2 both numerator and denominator the product here I get is 7 to the 14 and 9 to the 18 when I multiply here by 3, I get the product here 7 3 is a 21 and 9 3 is a 27. That is also equivalent fraction to our given fraction. 
so you just multiply it by any number you can get the equivalent fraction of given fraction next fraction is 4 upon 5 just write here 4 upon 5 and multiply it by any number at your own choice I multiply here by 3 the product I get here is 4 3 is a 12 and 5 3 is a 15 so the equivalent fraction to 4 upon 5 is 12 upon 15 the third fraction is 3 upon 11 so just write here in the multiplication form we are going to multiply it by 5 5 3 is a 15 and 11 5 is a 55 so the equivalent fraction to 3 upon 11 is 15 upon 55 you remember you just have multiply the given fraction for getting an equivalent fraction by any number which is greater than 1 when we because when we multiply it by 1 we get the same fraction so you have to multiply it by the number which is greater than 1 any number you you can choose at your own choice so just practice it very well and let's see you in next video thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you